we finished the final song, you know, really late at night. And I remember waking up the next morning and it all flashed back what we'd accomplished in such a short few days. And just thinking, like it was literally a miracle that we got to do what we got to do and what we captured. You know, a lot of the, the heart and theme of the Empire's album did come from the scriptures in Matthew 5 when Jesus taught, you know, the Beatitudes. And I remember we were kicking around ideas of where we could do a kind of acoustic or a different version of Empire's. I think it was Mikey that threw out the idea, hey, imagine if we went to the place that Jesus actually delivered the Sermon on the Mount and these Beatitudes. And I remember us all going, that is the most amazing idea ever. And that will never happen. Yeah. As soon as we got there, we kind of just realised this whole place is just like, it's just one amazing kind of location in itself. It was kind of like, why miss the opportunities while we're here? Let's get as much as, as we can done. There were some crazy days. I'm pretty sure there was like a 20 hour day on one of them. You know, what we thought was we would just record a couple of songs in a couple of locations. But when we got there, um, things started to get a lot more elaborate. You know, one day we'd be sitting recording a song next to a burned out old relic tank. Another time we'd be up on a mountain, we'd just jump out of the bus, throw up the gear and get the levels right and go for it, and then back in the bus to the next location. It was, it was actually pretty fun. So we are overlooking the Dead Sea, and um, these are some old salt mines, I think, we've figured out. Do we have power? Yeah, of course. Time is late, time we're late, is late. We're late. What was it like when you found out that you had built your drum set on um, an ant's nest? <laughs> we're all good. I think what's so unique and special about this project is just being able to match what we're hearing and the truth of the Word of God in these songs with the locations. I know what that did for us in that process of recording was so encouraging, so uplifting, so inspiring and our belief and hope and prayer is that that will happen for every single person that watches and listens to this project, that they'll be inspired, lifted up and encouraged. When I lost my heart